This week we're going to talk about clipping masks in Illustrator. Clipping masks are a great way to put information or detail inside of a path. Uh, you can place photographs, other paths, um, and a whole like brush strokes, a whole variety of materials can be grouped together and placed inside the outline of a path or multiple paths. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that and we'll be working on this for our character um, illustration that we're going to do once we finish up our portrait pro projects. So getting started, I wanted to show you what I have here. I have just some paths drawn, um, this butterfly, and I have all four wings. And then I have an image placed, notice, behind the path, and it's on its own layer here. Uh, so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll just drag this up to the butterfly layer so that it's inside the butterfly layer and change the order so that the image is underneath all the other paths. It's important to do this because sometimes if information is not on the correct layer, a clipping mask will not um, recognize it and it won't place it inside. So you always want everything to go inside of the same layer. And you're going to create the shape of the clipping mask and put that on top of whatever information you want to go inside of it. So for this uh, demonstration, the wing here, I have the wing selected, the top wing. I'm going to go ahead and put the image, this bark image, inside of the shape of the wing. So how you do it is you select both the shape, which is the path, and then whatever you want to place inside. For me, it's the bark image. Notice they're both selected. And then you just go to your object menu, go object, clipping mask, make. Once I do that, notice that the um, bark is now inside the shape of the path. If I deselect, um, you can see that. It, there's no stroke on the path. If you do create a clipping mask, the stroke information will disappear and it will just become the fill. You can edit the um, inside of the clipping mask independently of the shape of the mask by grabbing your direct selection tool. So notice if with my direct selection tool I can actually select that image and I can move it around inside of this shape if I don't like what I'm seeing or I just want to adjust it slightly. And I can still modify the shape itself. So with my direct selection tool I can grab individual points and I can pull them, adjust them a little bit. And with my selection tool I can grab the shape and move the whole shape around and the mask will move with it. Okay, if I want to release the mask at any time, it's really easy to do that. You just go up to your object menu, go down to object, clipping mask again, and release. And it just comes out of the shape and notice though the order of the layers changed a little bit and there was a fill associated with the shape that fill disappeared so I might want to grab that shape again and um, actually I'll grab the bark image first and I'll take it down to the bottom once again and then I'll select my path and I'll fill that with black just so you can kind of see where it is within the illustration. Okay, now notice I have four wings. What if I want to fill all four wings with this image? You can do that easily in Illustrator just by selecting them. So I'm going to go ahead and select them. But I can't just select my image and go to Object Clipping Mask Make. If you want to um, fill multiple paths, with something, um, if you want to create a clipping mask from multiple shapes, you have to first group them together. And it's a specific type of group that you have to create. So in the object menu, I want you to go down to compound path. We're going to be talking a lot more about compound paths as we kind of move into the semester. But a compound path is basically a, a way to group paths together. Also notice up here you have an option to group and we'll be looking at that as well. But for this exercise I want you to go to compound path and click make. Now nothing will happen that you can see inside of um, the artboard, but if you look in your layers palette, you'll notice that now the four wings are titled compound path, and this is telling us that the four shapes are now a grouped compound path. Once that's happened, I can go ahead and select the image. I can go to object, clipping mask, whoops, object, clipping mask, make, and all four of the wings will be filled with the texture. 
Okay, so uh, another really cool thing you can do with clipping masks is you can create detail in illustrations. So I just wanted to show you, we're going to be doing this character in class. And notice that the character has all this great detail on its face, on its body, on its, on its legs here. And it looks like there's a layered effect of illustrations. And really what the artist did is they used clipping masks to create this effect. So I want to go ahead and show you how to do this. It's a really um, simple process, but it does take a little bit of getting used to. So if you notice down here, I have redrawn the head, the shape of the head, two times. So I have two head shapes, and then I have the detail drawn as well. So I'm actually going to use the detail right here as the shape, and I'm going to fill it with, um, or sorry, I'm going to use one of the heads as the shape, and I'm going to fill it with this detail here. You don't, you want the detail to be slightly different than the original in terms of color, or it can be a lot different, but if it's the same exact color as the original, you won't be able to see it. So let me just show you how this works. I have this um, detail that I drew. Notice that it's darker than the original head, so that when you lay it on top, it looks different. And then I went and create, I made a copy of this shape. I just went edit, copy, edit, paste. And I tweaked it a little bit. So I made it a little bit darker. You can go up to your color palette and you can go to hue, saturation, brightness here. And you can really play with that hue, saturation, and brightness if you want. And, or basically change the color. Let's say I want to change the color completely. I can go ahead and do that as well. I can go up here and kind of change change the color palette or create a different gradient. Um, so I'll, I'll click cancel because I already did it over here. So let me just show you the next step. So then I'm going to select the detail and I'll select, select the shape. Now one thing you have to remember is the shape of the mask has to go on top. So my order here is a little bit off. I have the shape of the mask underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and select the mask and I'm going to go object, arrange, bring to front, so it's on the very front of the stacking order. Then I'm going to select the detail, select the shape, and I'm going to go object, clipping mask, make here. Once that's done, I can go ahead and drag the whole thing over and lay it on top of the original head, and I just get this cool detail um, inside the shape of the head, and it's just really easy. I mean, I could draw it, but it would be a lot more time consuming. Instead, you can quickly mask things, create this detail, and use that original shape as the mask. Uh, it, it's really helpful for this exercise to also look at creating gradients, so you can see that video as well in the next, in the next segment.